Imagine my shock to see the undeniable proof to discover that no matter how hard I tried, I would never be able to catch you, a warrior prince forever living in the shadow of a low-level clown. The journey of the Prince of Saiyans is one of marvel. Seeing Vegeta transform from a brass, arrogant man into a loving family man who puts others before himself is one to behold. When we're introduced to Vegeta in the story, he's cold, arrogant, prideful, always proclaiming his role at the top as the Prince of All Saiyans. After being defeated by Goku, Vegeta develops an inferiority complex constantly trying to overcome his limitations and surpass Goku throughout the story. Vegeta struggles with understanding Goku and why someone of his power chooses to lower himself to be a common man, to help the common people. In his journey of trying to understand Goku and his sources of strength, Vegeta ends up starting a family. He has a wife, he has a kid, thinking that this was the source of Goku's strength. And when he doesn't gain the strength that he was looking for in this, he becomes dissatisfied, angrier than ever, resulting in him turning to Bobbity, asking the man to bring back the inner darkness that lurked within him, his inner evil. Because to Vegeta, this was where he had his true strength. This is where his true strength lied, as a ruthless Saiyan warrior. In that moment, he saw starting a family as nothing, no benefit came from it, nothing but distractions. It hindered him, it made him weak. In the prince's eyes, this did nothing but cripple him. Despite the power that he was granted by Bobbity, in the end, he still lost to Goku. He still wasn't strong enough to defeat Goku. Over the course of the story from this point forward, we see Vegeta slowly start warming up to his family, slowly start accepting the fact that he cannot surpass Goku, even slowly considering Goku more of a friend. In his sacrifice against Majin Buu, Vegeta states, I'm doing this for you Trunks, for Boma, and even for you, Kakarot. From what we knew about Vegeta up until this point, he would never consider Goku somebody that he sacrificed himself for. We were seeing a shift in the young prince. The prince was evolving, he was changing, he was standing up for his family, he was standing up for his friends, and he was even standing up for his rival. This is emphasized even more in Dragon Ball Super, where when a god of destruction struck his wife, Vegeta lashed out in anger. Knowing that he could not beat the god of destruction, he still fought, defending his family's pride, defending his wife's pride, defending prides that were not his. Hmm. The young prince's growth goes full circle when he screams out to Goku in the Tournament of Power. He says, I quote, Stand up and show them why you're better. In this moment of acceptance, Vegeta realizes that Goku is better than him. He realizes that there's nothing he can do to surpass Goku. He accepts it. He comes to terms with it. In the past, Vegeta would have proclaimed his pride as a Saiyan. And he does still to this, but he's accepting the fact that he is lesser than Goku. He's accepting the fact that Goku is superior to him in any way, shape, or form in combat. Even though his pride may hold him back sometimes, the prince realizes that he is no match in comparison to Goku. Vegeta is one of the most greatest written characters in Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, GT, and Super. In the Dragon Ball franchise as a whole, in my opinion, Vegeta receives the most character development out of anybody. We see him go full circle, from a brass arrogant man who hates the world and wants to fight against everybody, nobody's above him, to a loving family man who will put his life on the line for his friends, his family, and even his rival. Watching Vegeta's story come full circle to a beautiful crescendo was a marvel to see and an amazing journey to watch. If you like this video, YouTube thinks you should watch this one over here on the right. I have more anime videos down below, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out a lot. And until next time, guys, I'm Noah Vermillion, and thank you for everything. I appreciate you all.